Hello YouTube, Graphic Carnage here, and today I'll be showing you how to set up your Windows XP to get a really awesome theme which mixes Vista and some unknown theme that Microsoft developed but never released. So what we're going to do first is go to the internet and you're going to go to this website. Now I'll post all these links in the description so you guys can go ahead and download all this from there. Okay, so you're going to go to um, this website first here, and we're going to go and get R Royal Noir, okay? Now, this is a secret XP theme, which was uncovered. As I said before, it never got released because it was kind of buggy and unfinished. But now it's on the net, and you can get it, and it looks way better than this shit here. So, what you're going to do is you're going to come here, and you're going to download Royal Noir, okay? It's going to be a zip file. Now, I'll just download it. To show you guys I already have it but yeah so we're gonna go ahead and download this now remember this only works for XP Windows XP okay um, so I got my Royal Noir here and I'm gonna go and open it up and in here you'll see you got two files okay and you got a readme so what you're gonna do is you're gonna open this readme and you're gonna read what it says right so it, it says copy this royal folder paste it into your themes folder and double click the Luna MS style okay so we're gonna do that so I'm gonna go up to start my computer I'm gonna go to local disk C and I'm gonna open Windows now in here you have to find resources it's right there so you go and open that up then you go to themes and you're gonna right click and you're gonna make a new folder and you're gonna call it Royal Noir just like this okay I've already done this because I have this theme. Okay, so then you're going to open this up and you're going to copy all these files into there. So you're going to select them all, do Control C to copy, and you go here, right click, and then you can go and do Paste. And once, once that's done, all you have to do is double click Luna MS Style. Okay, and when you open this up, a window is going to come up and it's going to ask you. Uh, if you want to choose uh, the theme like what theme you want to choose basically so I'm gonna go ahead and choose Royal Noir okay and then I'm gonna click apply and there's your theme looks really cool the only problem is the start button as you can see you can you can see this wasn't finished completely you can see the start button isn't like perfect there, there's a lot of things that that still uh, needed to be developed for this so yeah but we're gonna make it even better now because we're gonna go get some Vista stuff on the net for Windows XP now as you know Vista is buggy and it wasn't such a great release but you can have all the cool options that you get in Vista on Windows XP now so you're, we're gonna go back on the net and you're going to go to this website here and you're going to go and download VOrb, okay, download it. Once you got it downloaded, you extract everything to your desktop, and you should get something like this. Now, all you have to do is double-click that. Let's see what happens. Bam! That crappy start button, all that looked really awful now, is a VOrb. And this looks really cool, but it still has some bugs. There's still some problems with it especially with uh, when you when you open windows and stuff and if you set this um, bar to auto hide you're gonna get some you're gonna get some bugs there as well like the V orb will not come up sometimes and it, it's gonna be a pain but if you leave it like this it'll work fine just don't put auto hide on now we're gonna download something else that's pretty cool that's from Vista and that's V start so you're going to go ahead and download this. Once you got it downloaded, you're going to extract the files to your desktop and you should get a file like this. That is the exe. All you have to do is double click and it'll it do everything for you. Now, if you click on the V orb, bam, you get the V start. And I think that's really awesome because you can do a search for your programs instead of having to go all programs and like in the normal thing and you have to go and find them and stuff. Yeah. So I thought this was really useful. So yeah, you can do that. There's still some problems with it though. You can't add stuff onto here. That's one problem there is. Well, if you can, I've, I haven't found, found out how to do so. So yeah. Uh, now down here, you're gonna have all the log offs, switch user, restart, all that. 
uh, you can do log off just by clicking this little lock and this will shut down your computer. It's not a restart, it's a shutdown. If you want to restart, you're going to have to go to this little arrow and click on restart. Uh, so yeah, we got that now. And there's one more cool thing uh, that you can uh, get that's part of Leesoft and that's Vsplore. Now, on Vista, you have this really cool explorer thing, way better than the normal one, especially when you have tons of folders. Uh, all you have to do is click this little arrow and it give you a list alphabetical order and you can go ahead and choose your file with much more easiness than rather than going through every single file scrolling down trying to find it so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go get that so uh, go to this link it'll be in the description and all you have to do is do download and then you put all the files on your desktop extract them and you're gonna get something like this the explorer it's a one-step exe just like the other so you just have to double click on it and it'll be set up for you now it says you have to use the windows key and w at the same time to open that up so we're gonna go ahead and do that and there now you got the vSplore uh, ready to go so you can do any search you want so here I don't have that many folders so it's not that useful but in uh, folders like Windows where you have tons and you have to scroll down and find like some files and stuff It's really annoying and you can what you can do is just like click here and you'll have all your, all your files in alphabetical order Much easier to find what you're looking for. So I thought that was pretty cool uh, So far I haven't been able to make it work for everything I said as my default file manager But if I go to the V or I'm gonna click computer it comes up as a normal one, so I haven't found out how to do that. Maybe it's a bug of the program. I'll contact the Leesoft person and see if uh, he can fix that maybe for us. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. That's all I wanted to show you guys today, and I just think that was really cool. Really awesome options here with the VStart, VOrb, and VSplore, as well as this awesome um, unfinished theme for Windows XP. So yeah, that's basically it for this video. I hope I hope to see you soon, and I'll probably make more videos uh, later on, but right now I'm in exams, so you're going to have to wait one or two weeks maybe for more cool tutorials. Oh, and don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe if you like this video. Bye.